Hello everyone and welcome to the Chrissy B Show. Now they say money doesn't buy happiness, but the lack of it can certainly lead to feeling quite low and create all sorts of serious issues. So how can you avoid buckling under the pressure of a shortage of finances? Tonight we're going to be showing you how to live on a budget and that it doesn't have to be dull and dreary and that you can still eat well and look fabulous. Yeah. My guests are Emily Barnett Sorter and Ricky Hunt who will be showing us how easy it is to shop for bargains. Give us a wave guys. Yeah, let's go back to them. Yeah, we need the wave. Okay. We also have our makeup expert, Theresa Megan Gregoire, who'll be giving a special makeover to a member of the public, Emily Head, and also giving some insider tips on bargain products. And our fashion stylist and journalist, Cynthia Liza Gregoire, will be showing us how you can accessorize cheaply to complete a lovely makeover. And also, we have the news with a lovely Excel. There she is, brightening up the studio as usual. But let's go meet our makeover for today, first of all, and that's Emily Head. Hello, Emily. Hello. How are you, my darling? I'm very good, thank you. So good to have you in the studio. Yeah, good to see Now, you are going to be in the very capable hands of, of Megan here, who's mm -hmm. done some lovely makeovers already for us. But tell us, why was it that you wanted a makeover in particular? Because uh, I'm a student, I don't really get to go out and dress up anywhere. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of wanted a makeover. I'm mainly just in baggy tracksuit bottoms at the moment by okay. a book. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, uh, as a student, our finance is a bit tight sometimes as well for you. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Okay. You, like, you have to live on a very small budget. So okay. Makeup and accessories, all these things cost quite a lot. They do. I mm. can understand that. So yeah. I noticed immediately, Megan, those lovely green eyes. Look at that. I, I'm sure, I you, I'm sure you're going to do something with I know. that. I can't wait. Yeah. Well, so what ideas do you have for Emily for today? I have lots of ideas. I hear that you would like 1960s, or that's an era that maybe that we could take take some influence from, mm -hmm. so we'll see what we can come up with with the 1960s influence, but yeah. definitely you will be noticing her very gorgeous eyes yes, when definitely. we come back. Okay, so I'll leave her in your hands and then we'll come back to you later on and see what Megan's done. And obviously, um, Cynthia's going to be doing some things on you as well with, with accessories to brighten up the look. Okay, I look forward to that. Okay, thank you girls. All right, Lee, so now I'd like to introduce you to Ricky and Emily. Hello, Hello Emily. Hey. You've got two today. Where's my There it is over there. So how are you both? Good, how are you? I'm good. very well, thank you. Very good. Thank good. you. So you are going to show us basically how it's not impossible to, you know, shop well yeah. on a budget. Yes. So how did you both get into this, first of all? Well, well. I've, well... <laughs> you? Yes, I've been... I love charity shops and vintage kind of looks ever since I was young and my nan used to take me when I was about five or six years of age okay. and then I always used to pick out something and because it was so cheap she'd always get it for me oh. mm. but I love so it I love bug for it yeah no me. definitely and but I love finding good bargains um and also you know having my own kind of style and mixing perhaps maybe high street clothes mm. with a vintage look so maybe say for instance this leather jacket only cost yeah. me 10 pounds but it's real leather really and it's oh, that wow. kind of 50s 60s look but then you could team it with a t-shirt maybe from a you know a high street shop yeah. that mm. would be a few pounds so okay. you've yeah. already done a look that probably would have cost maybe over 150 yeah, 200 jacket, pounds so, so. That's feel amazing. it chrissy feel how soft the leather oh, it's is lovely. that's some quality yeah, that's some, some quality leather, leather. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how did you get into it ricky well actually in a bizarre kind of way it was through my granddad gave me a record player and a box <laughs> of records yeah. when i was about seven uh -huh. and um i started playing vinyl all the time so i was looking to buy more and yeah. it, everyone at school thought it was really strange but you know <laughs> <laughs> um so through the vinyl i realized everywhere i went was secondhand clothing okay and that's how i sort of realized that there was this world of bargains there but are like, certainly, but people just don't know where to find them sometimes, that's the problem. No, right. not at all, but I will show you today, Chrissy, one of my favourite bargains okay. really quickly. Boom! This, wow. <laughs> this is... Now they are bright they and sparkly. They only cost me, they were in a sale, and they only cost me £10, and originally their price was 70 Really? And I'll tell wow. you a really, really quick story about these. Yeah. I really originally wanted them for New Year's Eve, <clears throat> and I took a photo of them, I saw them in the, uh, the shop, put a photo on Facebook and said, please, can anyone see if there's my size, <laughs> oh, you know, wow. these shoes in the shop. <laughs> but then I didn't get to wear them New Year's Eve, but two weeks later, a friend private messaged me <laughs> and oh, said, found I found them. them and they're only £10. Oh, so wow. that was So there you great. go, guys, send out lots of Facebook messages. Yeah, yeah if you just want put it something. out there. They're, they're, and they are, <laughs> they are fabulous. I mean, for £10, that's yeah. like a magazine, you know, oh, and a cheeky chew yeah. you know. <laughs> So, <laughs> so what are the top tips do you have for us for the viewers maybe well, they're looking for? I think you really need to, it does take time, 
you, yeah. you know, you're not just going to go in there and uh, a few moments. So you need patience. But look out for good charity shops and the way of finding a good charity shop now for good is bargains. Tell this you. is the secret top tip. And yes. It's a very, very personal tip as well because not many people know this, do they, Emily? No. It's so I'm it's a secret. Um, if you go in a charity shop yep. and it has a laminate floor, yeah. guaranteed not good bargains. <laughs> no. They think that they are a boutique. Right, the prices okay. are too high and oh. it's all for prior, well, you know, yeah. like places that you can't, yeah, like okay. cheap places. Yes, but yeah. if you go in, it's got old carpet, like stains, guaranteed amazing vintage, <laughs> good prices. <laughs> Never heard that That's the tip, that. honestly. It makes sense, laminate floor, no. <laughs> How about one from you, Emily? <laughs> I really think you do need, like I said, to spend a bit of time. Yeah. But I think you need to really look like go to the the men's bit because sometimes it's not all just guy stuff there. Like yeah, they, yeah. I found lovely, and I'll, I'll show you in a minute a lovely dress that was amongst the the guys' big jackets and oh, stuff, really? and it was just yeah, it was just yeah. there. And um, I've definitely. Uh, uh, jeans are brilliant to buy in charity mm. shops. I mean, mm. I've got a lot of, you know, the expensive high street jeans and I got them for like three pounds fifty. Especially at the air. And oh, especially wow. at the moment a lot of the high waist stuff's, you know, in. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you get that and then you can the summer, you know, buy chop a couple up. of pounds, chop them up, you've got some shorts. And yeah, and wow. another really good tip, um, at the moment a lot of um jeans have got, you know, the ripped look. Yeah. Get yeah. a cheese grater. And grate it, and it the, the flared look comes in, and the string look, and then you can get some scissors just to cut it, and then do it again. And to oh. get them faded, you put you dilute some bleach in a bathtub, yeah. throw them Done. in, stir them around, pull them out. You get some stones, and you rub it on them, and then they look like sort of acid wash, oh. like they've yeah. been around for like That's great. thirty-five years, okay. but they're like brand new, well not hardly. <laughs> they're really good. All right. yeah. cool. So you've got a few things on the roll that you yeah. like to yeah. show us. Yeah, let's Should go over to the roll then. Yeah. yeah. What would you like to look at? What do I... Let's see the lady stuff first. Let's see the lady stuff. So yeah. I will show you this first. I'll get this out. Now this is an absolute bargain. Mm -hmm. As you can see, in lovely colours. And it's actually original 1950s vintage. Really? Wow. Now you can get this now for probably what? Oh, uh, £150 £150, really? £200. Pounds. And, and it's got a built-in Betty coat. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, I, I got this for £12. Really? Yeah. Wow. And That's it's cheap. just... And it's such a lovely fit as well, you know. Mm -hmm. It's... It really moves, and you can you can actually. Do you go dancing in that? Yes. Yeah. I do so. go dancing in that, but also it's just nice, you know, glam night out. Get those stilettos on. Yeah. Cheeky little high waisted belt, which I'll show you here. Cheeky. Just uh, <laughs> I know it, it is very glamorous, but a nice, you know, something yeah. a mix and match. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. That's cool. Nice. Okay. That's quite Ricky, nice one from you as well. What have I got? Oh, well, there's this beautiful overcoat. A couple of minutes left. Um, this is tweed, and it's from yeah. actually from Sicily. <laughs> Oh. Um, from a, a charity shop I found there, and I oh, was so lost. Oh, so you got a as well to charity shops. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. did. One of our yeah. favourite well. ones is actually in Florida. We yeah. were we were on a cruise ship once, and we and we docked there, and it's. It's a long story. It was but a luggage to, shop, to, but <laughs> inside it was a shop from the 80s that had all this old stock. Oh, wow. And the woman used to run it as a shop, and now she was just selling it off. And you yeah. cried. You cried. She cried. I, it oh. was just emotional. Well. <laughs> I will show you as well really quickly. These were only three pounds ninety nine. Real leather quickly? cowboy boots. Um, well, let's take them off. And, <laughs> yeah, take them off. Nice. Nice. Do a little like <laughs> rootin' tootin' down. <laughs> yeah, a bit of line dancing. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there so we go. <laughs> nice bit of leather going so on. How much was that? Was Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Real leather. Real leather. Yeah. And if guys, if you ever needing like a formal occasion, black suit, beautiful. This was seven pounds, and it's actually tailored to the person that actually originally yeah. had it. So it's okay. not even off the peg. Um, oh. You couldn't. Uh, you couldn't even buy something like this. No, I added. Oh, you added that. Yeah, a little uh, a Christian touch. That was like twenty-five. Oh, twenty-five, oh, yeah. <laughs> so a little copper horse. So you made it your own then. Yeah, that's yeah. Just good. add a little flair. And I've yeah. got this one here. This is a um, very nice, pretty summer tea dress. It's actually kind of like nineteen fifties vintage, you know, vintage. And this was actually in a well-known store, and it was at like an eighty-pound price. And I managed wow. to get it for literally. 11, it's I think it's eleven pounds seventy-five it? or something. Really? Yeah. Wow. And it's just lovely. I mean, you can have it as a halter neck. Yeah. Take the straps down. You know, strapless. Yeah. yeah, really nice. I mean, it just goes to show that because some people do feel really low because they mm. think they can't yeah. afford to look nice. Yeah. No, right. not can. at all. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We've done. We've done outfits, haven't we? Head to toe, including shoes. Definitely twenty-five pounds for the whole thing. Oh yeah. Easy. Wow. So yeah, yeah you really never good. have to feel like you can't look amazing because 
there's so much out there for you to get. Like, yeah. just yeah. as long as you know the little secrets and just have, use your eye and, and get what you like. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So Now, yeah. Emily, just before we go, you've just yes. got something quite oh. <laughs> innovative with this bag. So tell us, tell us. I will tell you really, you really quickly about this. So, I'm obsessed with Sex and City, love it. Mm -hmm. And there's the, the new programme out called Carrie's D Diaries. It's in the 80s. And it's set in the 80s, and <laughs> that's my favourite right. era of all the eras. So basically, she had this bag and it said Carry On. So I bought this bag for £1.75. Okay. I got all my different nail varnishes on and I spattered it on it outside. And you get a closer, yeah. You get a closer. This is the, the back of it. So it's several different colours there of nail varnish. And on the front I there, put name on it. <laughs> and I put my name on it too. So very original. And you know, and if you didn't want to go all out, put your name on. Still, looks very yeah. cool with all this, you know, sporadic nail varnishes on. And if you on. left it on that the tube, the next day. Yeah, it was so fun. <laughs> if someone was walking along with it, if you'd left it on the tube, you'd with know your it was name your bag. on. Yeah, you'd be like, oh, yeah. well done. So guys, yes. thank you so much. Thank that was you. really good fun. Very bubbly, both of you. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Alrighty. So guys, I hope that's helped you. But do join us because after the break, we have more for you, including the news with it. Excel. Don't forget to subscribe to the Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Welcome back to today's programme where we are speaking all about looking and feeling great even though you may be on a budget so there's no point in feeling miserable about it because there are things that you can do. Now we're going to have the news with Excel in just a moment but first let's take a look at some tips on eating healthily on a budget. It's really easy to eat well if you are on a limited budget. There are easy ways in which you can make use of your foods and actually make your meals go further and save money. You know, you can use beans and lentils to actually make dishes go further. So for example, if you threw in a handful of lentils into a stew or a casserole, that can actually feed more people. They're cheap, they're easy, and they're also high in protein and fibre. When it comes to fruit and veg, dried, canned, frozen and fresh all count towards your five a day. Just remember if you buy canned, make sure that the veg is canned in water rather than salted water and the fruit in natural juice rather than syrup. Generally, if you go for seasonal fruit and vegetables, you'll find they're cheaper. And if you shop at a local market, you might find you get some real special offers. A healthy diet should include plenty of starchy foods such as bread, rice and pasta. The dried staples actually keep for a long time, so you can have them in your store cupboard and make up a meal in minutes. It's often cheaper to cook from scratch than to go for a ready meal from the supermarket. And if you decide to order a takeaway, you could actually boil up some rice or noodles so you've saved money before it's even got to your plate. If you're going for poultry, let's say chicken, it's often cheaper to buy chicken on the bone with the skin on and remove the skin yourself at home. Or if you want to go for meat, go for cheaper cuts like neck and shoulder. If you fancy fish, try white fish like pollock or even canned fish. And if you make more food than you intended, you can actually freeze some because that could be a meal another day. If you live with other people, let's say in a flat chair and you each cook your own meals, then you might want to try cooking one meal together so that you're actually reducing the cost of ingredients. So you can eat well on a budget and you might find it benefits your waistline as well as your wallet. Okay, so they get some great advice. So let's go over to the news now with the lovely Excel. Hello, Excel. Hello, Chris. How are you, my darling? Well, you know. Oh, <laughs> she's, she's a little bit worse for wear today, aren't you? I'm dedicated to duty, Chrissy. In fact, today I was going to be, I'm going to be talking about frugal celebrities. And so I think I started off by being frugal with my voice. Aww. So do bear with me, viewers. This is me actually screaming really loudly. Oh. <laughs> Sound like a little old lady. Yes. What are you trying to say, love? Do I look old? So what, what do you think of today's topic? I think today's topic is actually one of the topics that kind of makes you think, oh, like it was quite interesting what the other two said about how they dress themselves from head to toe, 25 quid. Mm. That's actually quite good. And sometimes, I suppose people kind of tend to look down on charity shops, but I think more and more people nowadays are going there because, yeah. you know, it's, it's a way of finding a unique piece sometimes. I think, I have to say, personally, I haven't really gone <laughs> into charity shops, I have to be honest, but the odd times I have gone there to donate my own clothes. <laughs> <She's> like <laughs> I have spotted, oh, that's a nice piece, or, you know, so sometimes I suppose... Those you feel a bit embarrassed going through stuff, be honest. 
I don't know. I think because I've never really shopped in there. I don't know how I honestly, because I've gone in there to give, like, you know, yeah, to yeah, donate yeah. mine. And I've never really thought about it. I think I've looked and think, mm, that's a nice one. But people have always talked about it. And I think yeah, yeah. it might be worth me just swallowing my pride one day <laughs> and just go in there and have a look. But you, you know, sometimes know. they sell, like, uh, brand new things. Yeah. Because and depending on where you and depending on where you go in London, if yeah. you go to the, the posher parts of London, I would Indeed, say, you yeah. can get some really good Absolutely. Things. You can get... A, 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 some ball gown done by Vera Wang or something for like a tenner as opposed to a thousand. You never know. Yeah, that's true. Indeed. So tell us about some frugal celebrities there. Yeah, I actually found some really quite interesting people. Um, Kristen Bell, who is the House of Lies star, she talked about using coupons whenever she goes grocery shopping. Mm. She is like worth a lot of money, as most celebrities are, but she says she uses a lot of, lots of coupons because... She, the best coupons she can get is for Beth, Bed Bath & Beyond, which is like a toiletry sh um, mm. shop. I love Bed Bath & Beyond. I love it. Whenever I go to the States, I often go there. So um, she talks about using coupons. And, and I think that's one big thing, as I have to say, in America, because I know they have their inserts in mm. their papers, and it comes to all these little coupons they can cut out of products that you use, mm. which is, you know, which I suppose adds up to a lot. And I think I did a news slot one time about a man who did all of his shopping on yes, coupons I and remember. he was left with something like 50 cents left to pay with all the coupons yeah. he had accumulated and quite it was, it was over was 100 pounds? i think it was over a hundred dollars as it was yeah. an american story i think i remember rightly mm. and it was he he added up all these coupons and it came to over a hundred pounds and he literally had like 50 cents left to pay or something like that because he had oh, wow. he had he had enough yeah, for everything that. Which is brilliant. It's the time to collect all those coupons and I then know. go. And see, what is worth doing at all is worth doing well. See, yeah. saving indeed. <laughs> Jay Leno, who is of the Tonight Show, <clears throat> he's a famous comedian. We all know him well. He says that he has never actually spent a single salary that he's earned from the Tonight Show, that he puts that money aside mm -hmm. in savings, that he only uses money when he go the money he gets paid when he goes on comedy routines which i'm sure won't be cheap either but he says all his money from the tonight show which is worth millions he puts it away he's what for? never i read or i don't know Why don't i read you spend it all right i know you save a bit but yeah because he said he said this comes from how when he was a kid he had two jobs and that he worked at a ford dealership and he worked at mcdonald's and for him he would spend the money from one job and save the money from the other. But of course, in this case, we're talking millions now, not just... It's a good concept, but I think sometimes also you need to stop living in the past. And if you can afford things now, why not? Exactly. As long as you've got some savings, you know, put exactly. away somewhere. Yeah. yeah I, don't I don't think, think you should limit yourself. I think you should change according to your current circumstances. Exactly. I mean, we talk about cutting your coat according to your cloth. Now you have lots of cloth, so a big coat. <laughs> But, yeah. you know, but he says now, he says, that's the way I live now. I live on the money I make as a comedian and I put all the TV money into a bank. I have never spent a dime of my TV money ever. And he's got a long career. He's had a long career. Wow. So I don't know what he's waiting for. Well, I hope he's going to donate to charity or something. something well, like well, this is it. Mm. One of my favourite singers here, Carrie Underwood, lovely country American singer. She also clips coupons for her <laughs> weekly shopping. She says... Um, she, she put, cuts them out into the different things that she wants to buy them. She says she stocks up on stir-fry kits, meatless burgers, and armloads of onions and garlic. Never knew you could get coupons for that. Yeah. <laughs> but she, gets, she does coupon shopping as well. Another star, again, I found is one of the Mad Men stars by the name of Vincent Kartheiser, if I said that right. He still lives in a one-bedroom Hollywood apartment and takes public transportation. <laughs> but you see, I may agree with him here slightly because I am not necessarily of the opinion that if you're filthy rich, you have to have, I don't know, a vintage car with three chauffeurs and a f 10 footmen. He likes to take public transport because he says he prefers to travel in mass transit as opposed to in a car because yeah, when he's on enough, a train... That's his preference. Exactly. But if you want to buy, for example, a brand new car and you don't because of the way you've been brought up and you weren't used to having that, exactly. I think you should change your mentality. Exactly. But I think it's the ease of it as well because let somebody else stress out with the driving. That's how I see yeah. it as well. Mm -hmm. Because he says instead of driving, instead of being stressed out in the traffic, you can work on your scenes, 
do your exercises and whatever yeah, whilst you're on the that's bus. That's fair enough. Indeed. Mm -hmm. Sarah Michelle Geller, who we know from the Buffy series, she also shops at she also shops at a grocery store asking for things that are on sale. <laughs> she said, <laughs> she said her and her husband Freddie Prince Jr. do not see the need to buy items full price. Okay. So they purposefully. <laughs> this is hilarious. They shop at Whole Foods, by the way, but they always ask for which fish is on sale. Okay. She says, being on sale doesn't mean it's bad. It just means they have more than they need. So obviously they didn't sell it all in the same, uh, mm -hmm. you know, at the time. So, and she also is a coupon clipper because she says, why should you pay more for something when somebody else is paying less for it? Makes sense. Yes. I, I have to say this one surprised me. One of the richest supermodels in the world, Tyra Banks, she likes to save as well. I suppose it's the saving as opposed to not spending it, but she says, I am frugal. I have always been this way. When I was young, my mum would give me allowance and I would take a bit off each week and have some to spare. Mm -hmm. So she never spends everything or anything, you know, she doesn't yeah, just blow yeah. her cash. And um, she, says, she says she's carried on with what her mother has taught her. Um, another person here was actress Jenny Gart, who was in Beverly Hills 90210. She also, her daughter's clothes, whenever there um, is time for a new school year, she never buys them all brand new clothes. Mm -hmm. She buys something to complement the old one. Okay. So she always accessorizes and reinvents the old attire, which is quite cool. Cool. Um, Save the rest for after the break. Okay. Because we will be also giving the viewers some of um, my top tips on how to live on a budget. So don't go away because we will be hearing the rest of... Um, I was going to call you Teresa. Why was I going to call you Teresa? Excels, <laughs> sorry, Excels frugal celebrities. So do join us after this. Don't forget to subscribe to the Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Welcome back everybody where we are speaking all about budgeting and how you can still be happy, look great, feel good and eat healthily even though you may have a bit of trouble financially at the moment. I've got Excel here with me who's kind of almost in the shop. So Excel, we're just going to go through a few points um, first of all about some tips basically for people that are trying to, to live on a budget. So the first one is number one, it's going to come up on your screen right now, is to plan, plan, plan so it's very important sometimes you think you know um, how much you're spending and you, you, you kind of have it in your head but until you actually write it down and keep a track of it you might you might be quite surprised so just go through a few common things that people buy on a daily basis so obviously the coffee or the tea every day mm -hmm. right so that's two pounds about two pounds fifty I would say right so let's, yep. let's put that in the tin all right now a lot of people they do purchase energy drinks so if you get one of those it's normally about a pound mm -hmm. there's a pound for you and if you buy your your weekly magazine that many people like to do gossip yeah that's about two pounds fifty all right there we go then if you're a smoker just this this little pack here does it really cost seven pounds well so i'm not a smoker so i don't know but there you go seven pounds that's a lot you, you pick up the seven pounds there and if you eat out, say, once a week, say, you're probably around, around £30, I would say, right, for a meal? Yeah, absolutely. Don't show that yet. We're going to show them in a minute. That's how they can save, right? <laughs> okay, so let's just work out on a monthly basis. So the magazines will cost you £8 a month. Tea and coffee, £50 a month. Mm -hmm. Energy drinks, £20 a month. The cigarettes, um, based on a pack per week, is £28 a month. Eating out, £120 per month. So the total is £226. So even if you were to cut that, that's just quite a lot, isn't it? That just is on things that aren't necessary, I would say. Yeah. Because you yeah. can make your you can make your coffee and take it into work yourself, or you can make it at work. Energy drinks, if you drink plenty of water, that should give you energy, and they're full of rubbish anyway. I would have to say. Magazines, you can actually read up on stuff online. online. It's all free, completely free. Eating out, and I wouldn't say to people, don't eat out, because mm. I love to eat out, and I think it, make, it does make me happy because I love food. But you can get, um, well, I won't say which card this is, but you can get, what are they called, diners club cards, I suppose. Well, you, 
discount cards discount cards yeah. yeah and you can get coupons online so with this particular one for example you can get um half price on meals mm -hmm. and at lots of really nice restaurants yeah so, so that's many discount websites as well yeah. where you can get coupons that yeah. you can print out so, so you don't have yeah. to live miserably but if you just make a few savings here and then even if you were to cut half of this it's still a big saving so over the course of a year if you were to cut back on these things it's you save two thousand seven hundred and twelve pounds a year, which is very substantial. Or if you just want to cut down a little bit, half of it would be one thousand three hundred and fifty-six. I hope there's no one checking the sums right because I didn't put these sums together; someone else did. But well, please don't check because I don't know if they're correct. But I'm, I'm, I'm assuming they are. I'm sure they so are. So it's quite a bit of saving, isn't it? Sam? Absolutely, absolutely. Because I mean, if you, I think the thing about it that people don't really think about is, oh, I'm just getting one drink. Oh, I'm just getting a magazine. I'm just getting that but it all adds up. And I yeah. think that's the bit where we need to be careful because when you look at how it adds up, you see that, whoa, this is a lot. This is a big deal. This is actually yeah. adding up to what more than I thought. So yeah, and we're not telling people not to enjoy themselves, no, 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 are absolutely we? Because not. sometimes, you know, you like to go for a coffee with your friends. And I everything. do. But this is just a temporary measure just until, you know, you do get more money coming in, for example. And that's actually the, the second point on the screen, get more money coming in. So, you know, if you are struggling a bit, you know, try looking maybe for a better job or a second job or sell some of your things. You've got eBay, you've got Gumtree, you've got so many avenues where you can actually bring more income in. Absolutely. So you think, don't have to stay stuck where you are and be miserable. Yeah, and I think when people don't think about it, they probably, because I know someone, for example, who has her regular job, but she also bakes cakes yeah. for friends yeah. and stuff okay. like that. And then people just, you know, get, so think little things, little hobbies like that you can do. That's also one of those, one of the things that would be helpful to also bring money in. Yes. Make use of your hobbies. That's right. And because you enjoy it as well, so it won't be like an extra job. Okay. And also number three, beware of peer pressure and the media. So sometimes peer pressure can entice us to get the latest clothes and the gadgets, but you need to ask yourself, can I really afford this? And if so, do I really need it? So just a, a word of advice maybe you should unsubscribe from all these sell sites because you know that's that's a big thing now that's i won't say which they are anyway so i don't want to get into trouble but they sell basically they sell designer brands that you weren't intended to get anyway so if you i know someone for example was looking through this site and it's, oh I need, I need to buy this i said but did you want to buy that before you saw that uh no do you really need it no so why are you falling for it because yeah. you're buying something you weren't intending to buy anyway if it was something you were looking for on the other hand and it was on your list already, because yep. I write a list of things that I need every month, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then, it's, then it's a bargain. Yep. But if not, it's a waste. I think people always look at, because I know, again, I know somebody who has clothes that she's bought, but not even because she needed them at the time. She just bought it because it was on sale yeah. in the hope that she'll need the outfit for an occasion yeah, well, sometime <laughs> down the line. And then she grew bigger and wouldn't fit in them anymore. And she had to give them away to the charity yeah, shop. There you go. And then bargain hunters <laughs> get brand new outfits that you've sweated for, paid yeah. full price for, and you get them peanuts. So okay, really. So you do end up losing out, don't you? Mm -hmm. All right. So don't base your self-worth either on what you have, but rather on who you are. Because that is a very important point, isn't it? Because Absolutely. It's not about what you have. And that's what I think people feel pressured by the media and by friends and family maybe even that maybe yeah. have the capability of buying yeah. certain things so you don't don't feel pressured by anyone you are who you are and that's it the joneses are they're not real don't keep up with them they're not real yeah oh. <laughs> so you've got one minute excel to tell us about the other celebs that are frugal well do you remember one, them do you want your yeah, well no one i actually remember let me think now <laughs> there um, we go oh you put me on the spot here i know i've got i got i got all that well there you go thank you for I was saving got four minutes. me okay thank you you've for got saving time. don't me. worry you can Okay, somebody else is quite interesting. Um, her name is Mariska Hagite. She is the um, Law and Order Special Victims Unit actress. Mm. I love that program particularly. She says because of her poor upbringing, she's always saving up money. She's actually one of the most, one of the highest paid um, mm. TV stars. But she said she makes a lot now, but she doesn't feel that way. I mean, this is what you were saying earlier about having that same mentality. Because she says, because I was poor and I had no money for a lot longer than now when I have it, I still put money to get, I still put money aside because I think as an actor, if this show ends next year, then what? Yeah, exactly. As an yeah. aging woman, then what? And so, well, exactly. Mm. But I think it's the mentality though. She's kind of doing it out of fear rather than mm. 
it's good to save. It's more like, oh, I've been poor for most of my life or for some time yeah. in my life, and so I've got to save money you so it doesn't happen balanced, again. Don't you? At the end of the day, exactly. So enjoy, you know, spend. At the, I, I'm not a, you know, I'm not encouraging people to waste money just because mm -hmm. they have it. But at mm -hmm. the same time, you need to enjoy what you have. You've worked hard for it. Yeah. Why not treat yourself? Because, because the way I see it is, I always like what you said about the person who would have shopped for something because they go on advert. Because I think to myself, if I need something and yeah. I don't have to think about, oh, how much pennies have I got? Okay, if I really do need it, then I can get it. But if you're there thinking, oh, yeah, I don't really need it, but I might need it somewhere down the line, you're just wasting it because you're mm. not really, you know, you're not meeting a need. You're just buying because it's in fashion or whatever. Maybe what's in fashion doesn't suit you. You're just wasting money just because yeah. it's the vogue. But anyway, um, another person who, was quite, who actually quite surprised me was Sarah Jessica Parker. Her son, James, wears hand-me-downs. Really? She says her and her husband refused to spoil her son <laughs> because she grew up in a family of eight and they were all on, they were on benefits. And so she said, my son only wears hand-me-downs because I've got all these older nephews. And so she gets close all clothes from his cousins mm. he gets to wear so she said my husband They're and in I good condition why not absolutely I mm. wore hand-me-downs mm. because at the end so of the day I. well yeah that, I suppose that's the benefit of being the, the younger like, having, having an older <laughs> having an older sister yeah it's fantastic yeah <sighs> but we share clothes as well so that's nice we borrow exactly each when you're yeah sometimes. when you're the same size it's perfect yeah, but, now we are, yeah. And then he says here, um, he says, we wanted to stress to show to James, he said, by example, what it means to owe your community something and that he's not entitled to the benefits of our hard work. So yeah, obviously, so wants teaching to, him, teaching him about, values. you know, getting his own. And then finally, I have actress Ashley Green from Twilight, mm -hmm. who says she takes pointers on cash crunching from her dad. She's, she said because she was successful in Twilight doesn't mean that her fame has gone to her head. I'm lucky because my dad taught me to be frugal and to save, and I want to be able to not work for two or three years and know that I can make my house payments and car payments and buy food for my dogs. Uh -huh. So, um, oh, actually, no, there's one more. Oh, Somebody quickly, surprising. Quickly. Lady Gaga, no. who knew? Lady she Gaga. She wears her leftover dinner. There you go. She wears yeah. her leftover dinner after she uses coupons to shop for groceries. <laughs> well done, Chrissy. I think we planned this. Apparently, she says whenever she goes to um, uses coupons at grocery stores, people look at her like she's crazy. But she says, I'm from New York. Where is the sale rack? Okay, so well we done, go. Gaga. All right. So thank you so much, my love. You're welcome. And we'll see you again next time for some more news. Indeed. Okay, well, do stay tuned because after the break, we'll be showing you our special guest, Emily Head, and the results of her makeover. And we'll have our fashion journalist and stylist, Cynthia Liza Gregoire, back in the studio. We've missed her to show us how we can accessorize to create a look on a budget. Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show, always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to today's programme. We've been speaking all about not to be miserable, how not to be miserable when living on a budget. So we had Emily head on earlier who came in for a makeover today. Let's take a picture of her, look at a picture of her before. And now let's take a look at the makeup look that Megan has done on her today. So let's go over and say hello again. Hey. Wow, she looks gorgeous. <laughs> So we did say before, Megan, about her eyes standing out already, even without the makeup, and I see you've mm -hmm. accentuated that. What do you think of your look, Emily? I love it. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, wow. So I've not used, you've used purple, is that because it brings out the green more? Yeah, absolutely, Chrissy. So as you know, uh, before we went in, we took some inspiration from the 1960s. So as mm -hmm. we know, from previous segments that the 1960s were all about the eyes. Yeah. So you rather had those really contrasting colors, which mm -hmm. was the, you know, the whites and then the dark crease and the very kind of crease where you can actually draw eyeliner in the crease mm -hmm. because they had that really uh, distinctive 60s looks. However, there was other 60s looks that also uh, stood out to me and also colors as well. The pastels and the bold colors were also 1960s. So when I looked at our beautiful makeover guest, I thought I really have to bring out those green eyes. So part of that, as you can see on the color wheel, 
the colors that would really create mm -hmm. a contrast. So, you know, you can just Google a color wheel. You don't have to purchase this. However, it is fairly cheap at an art store. Um, and you can see what colors that you might choose. And keeping that in mind, Chrissy, when you're shopping and you see those bargain bins with 70% mm -hmm. off, you can then grab those colors that you think you may never use. And you can actually create what they call a sunrise effect. Mm -hmm. So what that is, is choosing about three colors that would contrast with your eye color. And for instance, with her... Can you get a close-up of her eyes? Because it just looks amazing. Yeah. For instance, with her, I chose purple, and obviously what was also infamous in the 1960s was that cat eye flick. So we definitely included that in our look, and I think she just looks so, so um, 1960s. You, you can see wow. also, we kept her cheeks simple, we kept you know her base very perfect, so we got that flawless base going as well. As to save some money, instead of buying nude lips, mm -hmm. you can just cover and pat the lips with a foundation. So, you know, you've done your makeup, you don't have that beige lipstick, like the 1960s mm -hmm. was also, also about the new lip colors. You can just take a bit of your foundation and use that as some, you know, as some... So there are uh, ways around things, and even though if you can't afford much on makeup, you can find there are little shortcuts. Absolutely. Can. When things go on sale and let's say like there's a sale for like I said the, the, that there's a line that's maybe got out of stock and it's 80% off, you may not think you would use a color, let's say your my skin color, you may not think you'd use this dark color foundation. Well, hey, it's 80% off. I, I think that you will find a way to use this and how you might find that is contouring mm. and you can just find all sorts of information on how to contour and also on the website Christy we've talked about contouring lots yeah. as I love contour and we've contoured her cheeks so even though we've got that simple we don't have a lot of color going on we do have if you want to just go to the side that nice chiseled look and and you know what we have used something like this just right underneath to create that contour so although you know if you do see a foundation that is a couple shades darker and it's on sale, you might want to pick it up because I, I, I could tell you how to use that. Mm -hmm. Also, I have another use for a black eyeshadow. Let, let's say that you're running on a budget and you have only certain particulars that you can buy. And let's say you have a black eyeshadow. Well, what you can do, Chrissy, is you can take a flat brush mm -hmm. and do what they call the waterline effect. So it's like a tightrope. So picture your upper eye where your lashes are as a tightrope and you can just load up your flat brush with some black um, eyeshadow, mm. maybe dip it in some water so to create that texture mm. and just really gently just go across there and create that definition. It's also a very good it's way very to, good tip. when very you're good. not really confident with the eyeliner, to create that definition on a budget. Oh, well done. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> so now we're going to go over to the styling with Cynthia. So let's, let's follow you, Emily. <laughs> Lead the way. <laughs> Okay, so now we're right. going to show <coughs> viewers basically because you've got a hello by the way. Hi, Christine. Right, well, <laughs> yes, <I am. laughs> Lovely to have you back. Thanks. Always to be so here. we've put Emily here in a, in a plain white t-shirt first of all. And right. Then you're, you're going to be showing some different things that you can do to glam up the look. Glam up a white t-shirt. Absolutely. So uh, with glamming up a plain uh, black or white t-shirt, it's all about the accessories. And the great thing about accessories, Chrissy, is that they're fairly cheap. And all of your favorite high street brands will have these all at a very low cost. And Megan had pointed out that it's a great thing to kind of stock up when, you know, seasons change and there's a sale because items such as like sunglasses, hats and scarves, these are things that you can kind of build in your wardrobe and just have all the time. Mm -hmm. So I think we're just gonna try to play around with a few different looks here. and. And um, I've drew, drawn from Emily's uh, 1960s inspiration, and she's chosen the right person. The mod journalist will uh, show you a couple boho looks that are actually trending right now. So the first thing that I'm going to do, um, Emily, is I'm just going to show you um, how you can sort of draw the attention away from just the plain white t-shirt. So we're going to just put this um, vintage 
fringe bag on you. And you can see here that it's cross body and it's also got the long fringes. So it's actually about bringing the attention away from the t-shirt and onto your accessory. Chrissy, if we can just get that floppy, that's the one, floppy black boho hat on here. And then she's got this on. I can put that on her. And we can add some sunglasses. If you could just put those on. We don't want to hide her eyes, but just, just for demonstration. Yeah. <laughs> we get a close up of this. So you can see how we've totally transformed her look. She's quite cool, fringe, 1960s, 19. 70s kind of look and just by switching like you know even sunglasses Emily if you just switch those ones around and we take a look got some quite big round ones that I got at a vintage store very cheap if we could have a close-up on that yes yeah, so you're just ready for a fun day in the sun and um, yeah let's just try a few more sunglasses and see what they look like we can take that off do you like wearing floppy hats do you yeah. ever wear them? Yeah. <laughs> you look yeah. really good in those. Awesome. Yeah. And I was going to just show that if we, we could take off the bag here. Let's say that we wanted to sort of change the look. Let's say the theme was a more rocky sort of look. So I'll just get you to take the glasses off. I have another bag that's just behind you. I'll just grab it. And um, this one here. Get some want to come out. OK. OK. This one here, you can see, has a chain. So you can you put that on, on crossbody again. And this one here, because of the chain, again, it's sort of like a, an accessory detail. And this one here is actually quite special. If you look for some extras that you can get from your accessories, this one here actually is a two-in-one bag. So it actually, for nighttime, so cool. turns into a black sort of rock rock and roll sort of look and you can do something like this with the tortoise sort of shell glasses if you take a look here and she looks quite rocky and I'm just going to put this bracelet on her here which is sort of like a fake kind of leather strap with uh, the metal details on there and you can make her look quite rocky really nice. very quickly so we like went from a boho yeah, look really to nice a sort look. of like rock like and roll that. look mm -hmm. yeah there. it's really nice let's Put that hat on and we can just play around with some of these right looks. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to spoil the look, Emily. There you go. So she looks quite it's good. Really nice. Let's get a close up of her, guys. Come on. The attention really is cool. away from the t shirt and just there really glam that up. I mean, you don't have to have a theme either. You don't have to do rock and roll. You don't have to do the boho look. You know, your accessories that you see in the stores, you could take the glasses mm -hmm. off. Um, you know, bracelets, earrings, those kind of things. See, the, what the look on Chrissy I've done today is we've put the long pendant necklace that would look wonderful mm. on Emily as well. And we had the mixed metals look where we mixed golds and silvers as well. That would be cool. Another um, no fail accessory that's just so cheap and versatile is obviously the scarf so in the summertime look for a lighter sort of made of model sort of skirt uh, scarf in the wintertime you'll get more of like a heavier sort of maybe cashmere scarves for quite cheap mm -hmm. and there's just so many different ways that you can tie a scarf and use use it I've looked at one of my favorite fashion people Rachel Zoe she does a great tutorial on eight ways how to tie a scarf so let's just show a few different looks yeah. that we could do with the scarf so this one's quite cool it's a leopard print and leopard is trending right now and I'm sure you can find it at any of your favorite high street it's been stores trending for a while hasn't it it has leopard. leopard's one of those things that just never goes yeah, out of style just gets but different like the colors are different and things like that do you want to just put your hair out there i like draping it around once this is sort of the look that i like but i mean it's all about oh, what nice. what you like and you can just kind of play with it and you know make one side longer or just play with the fabric see what you think you could actually take something like this when i've wrapped it around and oops i'm just gonna caught on there I guess I'll just leave it then. But we could have um, we could have tied it. Oh, oh there we got yes. it. We got it. We can tie this. Make a knot here, and I'm going to get you to just turn around. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to tie it. Can I get you to lift your hair? Sure. We're going to tie it again. And oh, you can face the front, Emily. And we've got sort of like a Parisian sort of chic look here. And again, you just would play around with the fabric. I don't want to choke you. <laughs> if you play around with the fabric and you can sort of see how she looks very Parisian chic. And then if you obviously have a blazer or, you know, a yeah, vest in your wardrobe, really nice. it's just about layering and 
you know, Excellent. making the best of your accessories. Thank you. Did you enjoy that experience, Emily? Yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> you look really fabulous. Yeah, I feel great. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you, girls. Thank you so look much good. for your help. <laughs> Thanks, Emily, for coming in. No Thank you so Thank much. You. So, guys, we have reached the end of That's today's really program, and I really hope that's helped you. And actually, I think it's proof that you don't have to feel down in the dumps if you don't have a lot of money at the moment. You can always, obviously, that situation can change. But in the meantime, make the most of what you have. And I hope we've given you lots of lovely tips here today. So if you want more information about any of our guests today, you can visit the website chriscbshow.tv. And if you'd like to get in contact with me, there's also a form on there that you can fill in and send that through to me. And also there's my personal website, mylifeafterdepression.com. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.